Discussion questions. Professor Haney, how do I do that? I'll show you. So you will go into the discussion questions and you will open it up and see the file, right? You'll see the first question. Notice these are fill in the blanks and there's a lot of copying and pasting in this class. So what most of my students just do is they go through and copy and paste. Notice that it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 34, maybe it's 45 pages. And the books are kind of short, right? Um, there is quite a bit of writing in a short period of time to read just because um, it's only six weeks. Um, but you'll go through and um, what you'll do, like I said, is copy it. And um, in order to respond to the discussion questions, you have to leave a reply. It's pretty obvious that students cheating if the reply is a period or a question mark or when is this due. Um, and then all of a sudden they copy and paste the answers of someone else and they look the same. So please don't cheat because I give zeros for that. Um, prior students can vouch for that. So you copy and paste and what you'll just do is do the reading and fill in the blank. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit about what this looks like. Once you have copied and pasted the questions, You'll notice the phrase, right? Once you have mastered it, you no longer have to give it much blank blank. So it's two words, two of the various moves that go into doing it. That's an ellipsis. So it might mean a phrase or a couple sentences or line might pass till moves that may seem blank or blank to those who haven't yet learned them. Here is the book They Say I Say, the fourth edition. Now, students ask me all the time, <coughs> can I buy a different book and the problem is that when the discussion questions say pages one through nine and you have a different book it might not be a problem at the beginning of the semester but within a few days when it says 35 through 42 you might open your book and it's different pages or the reading is completely different because the third edition has different articles in it um, but for now, right, you open up your book to page one and you start reading. Another question students ask is, is it worth it to buy a used book? I don't want someone's trashy old used book. Um, definitely buy that used book. Um, it's a 50% chance it's from a student who took the class with me. So as you're reading, you might find this fascinating little thing where there's highlights, which definitely means, yes, that's what the answers are. <laughs> Right, so you'll be reading through um, the essay and um, starting on page one, right? Think about an activity, you do particularly well, blah, 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 blah. You're looking for the word once, right? <laughs> once you've mastered it. Once you've mastered it, you no longer had to give much conscious thought. Once you've mastered it, you no longer have to give it much conscious thought, right? To the various moves that go into it, right? Um, and then we know there's an ellipses, right? So moves that may seem. Moves that may seem mysterious or difficult to those who haven't yet learned them moves that seem hmm there it is um, mysterious or difficult to those who haven't yet learned them right so that's how you'll do the discussion questions once you are done you just click post reply now to prevent themselves from being copied many of my students will change the font colors um, underline um, font styles that way if someone copies and pastes their work it's pretty clear who did it um, especially if there's like a question mark and then <laughs> you know copied um, but that's all you really need to do for the discussion question.